go. All right, here we are with match number 14. 71, 72 technical difficulties, of course, sporting a very interesting robot design. One of the few robots you're going to see here today with two separate arms. This allows them unprecedented amounts of mobility and ability to reach various parts of the field very quickly. However, that is not necessarily the most important thing here when you have to worry about cycle times. Teams like 18438, Wolfpack Machina are able to score incredibly quickly from one location with that multi-segmented arm, as you can see. But their partners, as we end autonomous. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Moving that tele-operated period, we've got a lot of scoring from all robots in this match. I think we're going to have a high-scoring match here. 18270 robo players from Irving, Texas here, moving around, grabbing some cones to score on those junctions. But their partners out here also grabbing some cones. Rolfak Machina out here we're trying to reclaim that upper junction. And of course, we cannot forget about CPHS Robo Lobos Green. Go, moving quickly and steadily, grabbing their blue cone, trying to move over and going right into the Red Alliance's territory there and capping one of those low ones, but unfortunately it is immediately recapped by the Red Alliance. Great for the Red Alliance, not so good for the Blue Alliance. Technical difficulties, of course, sweeping over the field with that those two long arms, getting ready to score on upper junction if they can do it. It looks like they might be having a few technical... No, they're aiming, they're aiming, they're scoring, and yes, they've successfully captured... One of those upper junctions as well. It looks like two blue upper junctions, two red upper junctions, but quickly changing. That's the nature of this game. Ownership of junctions can change in the blink of an eye. The robots seem to be taking their time here, moving a little bit slowly. Hopefully it's not technical difficulties here, and they're actually just waiting for their time to strike. Yes, they're moving again. Unfortunately, technical difficulties mixing, missing their upper junction. Fortunately, their partners, Robo Lobos, ready to score on their upper junction as well, recapturing for themselves. Red Alliance over here, 18438, scoring in the upper junction. 182, unfortunately, missing. 8270, unfortunately, missing, but don't worry, they're ready to score. And load another cone, load another cone, and try and aim for that upper junction, but they're tilting it a lot, and yes, successfully scoring in there. Once again, these, cone, these upper junctions are being passed back and forth as we enter the end game. What's really going to be important here is these beacons being able to score and capture that upper junction as the Red Alliance just co captured one of those upper junctions for themselves, followed by the Blue Alliance capturing an upper junction for themselves. And looks like, oh, unfortunately, a technical difficulty is knocking off one of their junction cones into 18270's robot. We'll have to see what happens there. But it's not slowing 18270 down as they score their beacon there with five, four, three, two, one, zero, as we end the match with three beacons captured with upper junctions.